Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So today I have received this Dell Latitude 3190 laptop motherboard and it's completely dead. So now I will try to fix this motherboard and I will show you how to fix this kind of motherboard. So let's try to fix it. As you can see, this is the motherboard model number LA-F461P. So it's completely dead and now I will try to fix this motherboard and I will check all the recur voltage step by step. So let's get started so at first i will set my multimeter in beep mode for check evidence of this motherboard uh, at first i will check evidence in uh, main power rail it's called 19 on 13 volt so as you can hear so uh, first i will check check on this MOSFET okay there is no short to ground and then I will check this 19 volt uh, filter capacitor okay here also no short so now I will uh, connect my DC power supply to this motherboard So as you can see it's uh, taking only 0 0.017 so now I will check on this DC connector so I set my multimeter in DC mode and here I got 19 volt it's okay then I check this MOSFET here 19 volt also here present now I will check this coil here here also 19 volt the other side here also 19 volt so let me check under my microscope so now I will check this MOSFET here get is 0 here also 0 0 19 volt is present there is 0 and get also 0 so now I check here this is the 3 volt or 5 volt regulator IC and this is the VCC pin so as you can see uh, main power rail is not present 19 volt is not present on this uh, motherboard so there is also uh, no main line no short to ground but main line is not present 19 volt is not present on this motherboard so now I will check this uh, charging IC this is uh, BQ24770 so now I will check some uh, required voltage on this uh, charging IC so at first I will check VCC is uh, 28 pin number 28 VCC voltage so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here is a uh, 28 so 18 volt is present with BCC pin number 18 and now I will check the voltage is uh, uh, AC detect uh, pin number 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 pin number 6 AC detect uh, is sorry it's present 4.74 it's okay next is uh, region 24 so 21 2 3 4 should be here this reason also not present so in this case I uh, I don't have a schematic or board view for this uh, specific motherboard so now uh, in this case I will uh, replace this charging IC uh, then I will check again it's a uh, problem solved or not so I have already this donor board 
and I hope this IC is good. So first I will remove this IC. So I, <coughs> I have only uh, VCC voltage and uh, AC detect on this uh, charging IC. Reason voltage also not present. So I hope after replace this IC, this board will work in condition. It's done. I need to clean. So let's connect the power supply again. Okay, as you can see, now it's taking. It's done. Now it's taking more than 100 amps. Okay, let's check the re reason voltage here. As you can see, it's now 5.36. And uh, if I check here, oh, sorry, 13 volt is present now. So I check here also 13 volt so it's turning on now we'll check the display is okay or not so let me attach this <coughs> heat sink It will restart two or three times. Okay, we have the logo. As you can see, it's done. So after change the BQ24770 IC and this motherboard, it's alive now. So it's very simple and very easy just check some required voltage and you can find out what is the actual problem so thanks for watching this video